Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, Autopilot Expert Mode, Introduction. In today's video, I'd like to start a series of several videos covering operating Skyview's integrated advanced autopilot using the expert control scheme or menu system. I've already uh, covered operation of the autopilot using the simplified menus in prior videos. To start with today, I want to point out that in the upper left-hand corner of my video, you can see our optional autopilot control panel. I'm not going to discuss using those buttons in this video. Uh, I want to focus on controlling the autopilot using the menu system first. Actually, use of the autopilot control panel makes the operation even simpler because it places all the controls in one location. Uh, so again, in this video, I'm going to stress using the multiple autopilot menus accessible on the Skyview display itself. Now, uh, to start with, we're flying along. The autopilot is not engaged currently, and we're looking here at Skyview's main menu. You'll see the button one says PFD. That's the reference I use to know that I'm looking at the main menu. All of the autopilot controls are accessed under the autopilot, which is here on button four. So I'm going to press the autopilot menu, and now we're looking at the main autopilot operating menu. Uh, notice there's several buttons here, one labeled AP. We'll use that to engage the autopilot. Uh, the next button labeled FD stands for flight director. We do have the ability to turn on the flight director, which is a graphical display separate from actually engaging the autopilot servos. And then here on buttons four and five, you'll see that we have separate submenus for controlling the roll axis and the pitch axis. Uh, button six, labeled HSI source, is a control to use when determining what navigation source in the airplane uh, sends guidance information to the HSI needle. I'll cover HSI source uh, in a later video. For now, I'm going to jump quickly into the roll menu just so you can see what options are available there. So pressing button 4 labeled roll switches to our roll menu. And here you'll see we have three what I call on-course controls. The first two labeled heading and track are controls that follow the bug on the directional gyro. The third on-course option labeled nav would have the autopilot follow the HSI needle. Skipping over to the right on button seven, we have a uh, menu option labeled roll hold. That's an, op uh, an autopilot mode in which the autopilot simply maintains the roll angle at which the aircraft is flying when the autopilot is engaged. And again, I'm going to cover each of these operating modes separately in, the, in the future videos. Now I'm going to press back, which takes us back to the main autopilot menu. Next, let's press button 5 labeled pitch, and this will show us the pitch control menu. Again, we have uh, four buttons for the various pitch modes. Button 2 is labeled VS. That stands for vertical speed. That controls climbs and descents with reference to the vertical speed bug value. But three labeled IAS stands for indicated airspeed. That mode would let us climb or descend with reference to a defined airspeed. Again, set by a bug value at the top of the airspeed indicator. But four labeled altitude hold would have the autopilot simply maintain the designated altitude. And finally, button four, or excuse me, button five, labeled VNAV, is the mode we use when we want the autopilot to follow vertical guidance from either a glide slope or a, a, a precision GPS approach with vertical guidance. So there we have it. I've covered all three of the autopilot menus. And uh, next, I will go through each of those menus in detail uh, show how to engage the autopilot in the most basic mode, and then cover lateral control and pitch control in more detail. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.